Hi there, this is Carew's Reviews. This is my second video. I'm Carew and this is my review. Although once again I won't be reviewing any individual systems. I'll just show you. This is just, I'm showing you my uh, entire system. I got rid of the Panasonic Ghetto Blaster that that uh, was in my first video. I got a whole $30 for that, so that was pretty exciting. But I've also got some new systems which actually are exciting. Um, since since that original video, I gotta move over. <clears throat> since that original video, I've picked up the Edifier S730 and I've picked up a bunch of speakers that don't even work either which are these little Logitech, I think they're the Z130s, and the Logitech, oh, I can't even remember the models of those, but none of those work. None of them work. None of those ones on top work. Um, I, uh, I was given these from the, these Z130s from my sister. They, well, they sort of work, but they're totally distorted when you play anything through them. Those Logitechs, those ones are actually really expensive, those big ones back there. They're, uh, they came with a 30 watt amp, 15 watts per channel, and uh, a real nice little 3 inch woofer and dome tweeter in them, but they're dead in the water. They, uh, I, try, I took them because I, <clears throat> I bought another system about a year ago or so. I don't remember when I bought it, but anyway. Um, an Alltech Lansing system, a computer speaker system I bought, and the guy said, hey, I've got these Logitechs that don't work. Do you want them? And I thought, what the hell? I'll, I'll take them home and take them apart and see if I can get them to work. So I did that. I took them apart, but I couldn't get them to work. They just, the power came on for a split second, and that was about all I could ever get them to do after taking them apart. So I put them back together, and I just basically use them for display now because they're nice-looking speakers. The weird thing about them, though, is let's see if I can show this. Is they've got a display right here that shows the track and track number and and uh, artist and time, playback time and remaining time and all this stuff, and it's got different controls for whatever you're playing. But it's really a useless feature because whatever whatever you're using to play it with. Uh, is going to have all those things anyway, so I don't know what the point of having that those features in the speakers were, but anyway, that's one of the useless features that those speakers have, and one of the reasons they were so expensive, because when they came out, they were like 150 bucks, um, which is a lot, considering there's no subwoofer with them. That's all, what you see is what you get with them. You just get a little three-inch woofer and uh, and a dome tweeter, so that's. Uh, pretty expensive for little speakers although I've heard they do sound good but you're not going to get that much bass out of them regardless um, and the amp is in, is in the speaker with all the display and the controls on it and that speaker's got to weigh at least six or seven pounds it's really heavy the other one probably only weighs three or four pounds but uh, so it's a pretty heavy little control unit and amp in there but um, and then, like I said, I've got the little Logitech Z130s that my sister gave me, and they're they're kind of hoop. They work, but they're distorted. And I paid full price, actually, for the Edifier S730s, because I wanted them really badly. They uh, cost me 400 bucks, And um, I've seen them for different prices, but that's what I paid for them. And then I also, the only other thing I got was the Acoustic Authority, these ones with the uh, with these speakers, the ones on the outside, and of course you can see the size of that sub. It looks even bigger than the Edifier. The Edifier claims to be 10 inches, but it's not, and the Acoustic Authority claims to be, I think, 8 inches, but it's not either. Both of them are wrong. But the Acoustic Authority is the only time I've ever seen a system where it claims to have a certain size woofer. And this woofer is actually bigger than what it claims, which is weird. Um, because, I mean, it says it's an 8-inch woofer from everything I've ever seen, but it's actually 9 inches. It's the same size as the Edifier, which claims to be a 10-inch woofer. So, um, that's kind of weird. Another weird thing about the Acoustic Authority here is that you can't take the... Uh, there's no way to get that woofer out. Like with all the other systems, 
you can unscrew them. You can unscrew the woofer to get into the cabinet to, to change the amp or the speaker or whatever. There's no possible way to do that with the acoustic authorities. And apparently they were made by um, uh, Cyber Acoustics. Um, Cyber Acoustics actually had another system that looked very similar to that, but it had a six and a half inch woofer. And it was, it was like 60 bucks or something, 70 bucks. It was amazing for, for the amount of bass you could get for, uh, for the uh, Cyber Acoustic system. But this one had the, for some reason they called it Acoustic Authority. I don't know why they weren't Cyber Acoustics too. But I guess this was sort of like supposed to be the, the high end, top end of Cyber Acoustics. Um, but anyway, I picked that system up for 50 bucks, which sounds like a hell of a deal. And it does work, but it doesn't work well. And the controller, um, the light doesn't come on on the controller. And it, uh, and it doesn't sound good. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. And there's dust in the controller. So the acoustic authorities are a bit of a disappointment. I probably shouldn't have bought them, especially when you consider I got the Logitech Z2300s for, for 55 bucks. The only good thing about the acoustic authorities here, they don't play, they, they claim to be 180 watts, but it doesn't sound like 180 watts to me. It sounds more like about 30 or 40 before it's the, everything, before the, especially the sub starts to distort. So I was kind of mad at myself that I bought them, but whatever. Um, it's got a big sub, and that's really what I wanted. I've got to get them, t I have to get them taken in to get that controller fixed up. <clears throat> so when I get some money, I'll do that. But uh, hopefully that'll straighten out the sound problems and volume problems and the light problem with it. But, um, yeah, that was the main thing I wanted from that was the big sub. Because, I mean, it's the... Those are the two biggest subs for computer speakers that have ever been made. They're both nine inches. Um, so, but of course the edifier though is just completely insane. Like, I mean, you could have an outdoor dance party in a large yard outside, and I mean, you could almost turn it into a nightclub with the volume of uh, and sound and bass that thing produces. The bass isn't that deep, but it. Uh, but it produces tremendous volume. It's got a 300 watt amplifier, which is the most powerful computer speaker system ever made. Um, yeah, the Acoustic Authority claims to be 180, but I mean, I don't know if there's, I don't know if it, it's just because mine doesn't work right, but there's no way it puts out anything close to that. Um, but the Logitechs, yeah, I think the Logitechs are pretty legit, as is the Klipsch. I think they uh, they claim to put out their their certain wattage, and I think that they're pretty close to accurate. So um, another thing about the acoustic authorities, you can't get those covers off. That's why you can't see the speakers, which is kind of annoying because I think there's only a one there's only like a two and a half inch speaker inside. So it's basically the same speaker as in this, but look at the size of the cabinet. You know, I mean, it looks like you could easily fit. You could fit two of these and a dome tweeter in there, in that, in the size of that cabinet. So it's too bad. But pictures I saw of Acoustic Authority speakers before I bought this system, um, they had little two-way speakers. So these obviously aren't the same ones that I got. But yeah, I'm disappointed with Acoustic Authority. But uh, but may, hopefully when I spend a few bucks getting them fixed up, it'll it'll really improve the sound and of it. Uh, and the light will work on the controller. So, anyway, there's my second video of my entire system um, with new speakers I got, uh, some working, some not, some somewhat working, and um, and I'm up to about a gigawatt altogether for the whole thing. I because I've got a multi uh, multi jack adapter for computer speakers, 3.5 millimeter adapter. I've actually got a five-way adapter. And then I've got two splitters uh, so I can actually hook up uh, seven speakers, I think, to the whole thing. I, I don't run, like I said, the Logitechs, these ones are really distorted. These ones don't work at all. So that's the, the top four are unusable, basically. So then I've got the other six systems. Oh, I've also got my Altec Lansing, too. I don't want to forget about those ones. That's, that's 
besides this sub right here, this little 4 inch guy right here, heavy little sucker too, it's got a 41 amp, and uh, it blasts pretty good for just a little, when, when you factor it's only a 4 inch woofer, it's pretty, it, the thing pumps out 40 watts, there's no question that's legit. And, um, oh, also I got rid of, I don't know if I had it in my original video, but I, this system, the Altec Lansing with the sub I was just showing you, this is the really old system I've had, still works, but it's actually not supposed to have three speakers, it's supposed to have four, but one of the speakers uh, broke, so after years of abusing it, many, many years of abusing it, so, um, yeah, really, really well made. The Altec Lansing, just indestructible and plays loud and sounds sounds decent. So, really impressed with the Altec Lansing. Um, but not so much with the Acoustic Authority. And uh, haven't had much luck, actually, with Logitech, in spite of the fact they have an excellent reputation. And the Z2300 has been really durable. Um, the Z2300 has been great. The Z, my original, this is a replacement Z623 I've got here, though. And it, uh, the original one died. Thankfully, it died just before the two-year warranty expired. So I was able to get, the, replace the system. It only cost me 35 bucks shipping and handling for that. So that, uh, that was awesome. But my original Logitech system, I think I had for about three years. It was a little cheap little 2.1 system. cost me 40 bucks. The LS21, and it lasted for about three years before it died, but I barely ever used it. You know, I, I mean, I didn't use it much, and and uh, it died after only about three years, so I wasn't thrilled with the reliability, but I went with Logitech again anyway. And then the Z623 that I upgraded to, the top of the line, it died after less than two years, um, but... The good thing about Logitech, of course, is that they have a two-year warranty. Most other computer speakers only have a one-year warranty, so so it only cost me thirty-five bucks to replace it. So that was cool. Well, a bit of work too, but but uh, didn't cost much. So, but um, yeah, Logitech not so reliable. Not really. I mean, when I I've read a lot of reviews on the internet of people saying how how uh, incredibly reliable Logitech are and how great they are. And I do like the sound of them. They sound, I really think they sound great, but not so impressed with their reliability. Um, so far, I've had no problems with the Klipsch's. Klipsch Pro Media, that's these guys with that sub. Um, a little bit, little bit of dust on the controller over here, though. I've tried to clean that out, but I wasn't able to get it. Get a little bit of dust in there. I've had those for about year and a half, two years now, and uh, and so I think that's about it, so I'll talk to you later, hope you enjoyed the video.